from Inventiv and we are back with another episode of today's news headlines. Myanmar's military June double begin presenting its case against deposed leader Aung San Suu Kyi in court next Monday, her lawyer said. The military arrested Suu Kyi in February when it overthrew her elected government. Public resistance to the coup remains strong and in recent months has taken the form of a low-level armed insurrection. Government prosecutors will have until June 28 to finish their presentation in the court in Naypyidaw, the capital where she is being tried on five charges after which Suchi's defense team will have until July 26 to present its case, said Kin Maungzo. The team's senior member and the court sessions are to be held on Monday and Tuesday each week. Kin Maungzo spoke to journalists after a procedural hearing on Monday for Suu Kyi's and two fellow defendants, ousted President Win Mint and former Naipito Mio Myong. Suu Kyi's supporters say that the charges against her are politically motivated and are meant to discredit her and legitimize the military's takeover. If convicted of any of the offences, she could be banned from running in an election promised by the junta within one or two years of its takeover. She and her two core defendants are charged with spreading information that could cause public alarm or unrest in the city. Suu Kyi also faces two counts of violating the National Disasters Management Law for illegally breaking COVID-19 pandemic restrictions during the year 2020 election campaign, illegally importing walkie-talkies that were for her bodyguard's use and unlicensed use of the radios. A sixth charge that Suu Kyi faces in the most serious one, breaching the colonial era Official Secrets Act which carries a penalty of up to 14 years imprisonment. It has been handled separately from the other charges and was filed in the court in Yangon, the country's biggest city. It was recently transferred to the Union Supreme Court in Naipito, said Sanmar Lanyut. Another of her lawyers and also another of her lawyer, Min Min Zoe, said that when they met with her, she asked them if they could help pay for her food expenses because her cash resources were very low and she did not want to rely on being fed by her cape toes. That's all for today. We'll be back with some more news. Till then, stay connected and stay safe. Thank you.